Received a call a few weeks ago and I was asked, do you want some windows from a 1940s house? And I said, yes. And so we picked these up with the intent of building a greenhouse here at Rafa Ranch. And so there's the young people are very interested in that sort of thing. And so um, do we have time to do all that? Probably not. Um, we're so thankful for our volunteers and those that help and get involved. If you would like to get involved, please see Miss Ariel. Now, in our devotional today, we have this trilogy that Paul unfolds about what the church needs to really look like. This church needs to be maturing. This church needs to be fruitful. This church needs to be sound. And so he uses illustrations that talk about um, a babe and how we need to move from the milk to the meat. Then he talks about planting and how we need to be individuals that um, are bearing fruit. And then he talks about building and how important it is to build with the right material. Then we go into our text and it says here in verse 16 of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? And the Spirit of God dwelt in you. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple are ye? Now, it's really important not to be destroyed. So, many years ago, I built a house and I got some wood windows. Before we really started building, I stored them in a 1920s garage. We built the house, we put those wood windows in it, and a few years later, termites. Apparently what happened was when I stored the windows in that old garage, the termites from that garage got into that new wood. Then we took that new wood in those windows and we put it in the house and they got into the framing. And so they were absolutely destructive. This is what we're talking about here, is we're talking about those that would come in and destroy, mar the word of God. We know that in Acts chapter 20, right around verse 28, it talks about those that lead disciples unto themselves. And so you have this idea of, of splitting, dividing, destroying the Lord's church. And Paul has warned us here that if we don't want that to happen, then we need to be mature. We need to be bearing fruit. We need to be a solidly built structure that the Holy Spirit can inhabit. That's what we need. Now, when I first looked at this, I immediately thought that maybe this was talking about the individual, but you actually have to go over to chapter six and take a look in verses 18, 19, and 20 to, to get the individual's perspective. And maybe we'll look at that another time. Maybe you can go over there and look at uh, chapter 6, verses 18 through 20. But uh, the Lord has a lot to say about the temple because that's where true worship uh, is. And that is where, when we are in that new Jerusalem, we'll be in his temple built in heaven, worshiping him. It won't be something that is uh, made out of old windows and old material. It will be absolutely phenomenal and we'll be there with him. So look forward to it, but more importantly, prepare. It's going to take some preparation for a greenhouse, but it's going to take more preparation for our spiritual um, walk with the Lord. Let's, uh, let's be prepared for that. Thank you so much. May God bless you.